Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, August 30th. Kenneth Melson is out as acting director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. He resigned and was reassigned after a botched gun trafficking operation near the U.S. border with Mexico. The U.S. attorney for Arizona also lost his job in the shakeup. The gun running probe known as Operation Fast and Furious went bad with thousands of firearms ending up in the hands of Mexico's drug cartel. President Obama's foreign policy record came under sharp attack today from Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. He told the National Veterans of Foreign Wars Convention in San Antonio that Obama's image to the world was that of a president more eager to apologize than to lead. He criticized Obama's approach to the anti-government uprisings in the Arab world, the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan against the wishes of his generals, and Obama's cuts in defense spending. Obama came under fire at the same convention Monday from another GOP candidate, Texas Governor Rick Perry. While this was going on, Obama was appearing before an American Legion group in Minneapolis. He pledged he would not cut programs for veterans, even as Congress and the White House look for ways to trim the federal budget and reduce the deficit. Obama also proposed special tax credits for companies hiring unemployed or disabled vets. And Japan's parliament made it official today, electing Yoshihiko Noda as the country's sixth prime minister in five years. Noda was finance minister under outgoing prime minister Naoto Kan. He takes charge of a country with not only a stagnant economy, but one still struggling to recover from the earthquake, tsunami and nuclear plant disaster of last March. Many will be watching for Noda's plans to pay the cost of reconstruction after those disasters, which is expected to carry a price tag of $169 billion. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, August 30th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.